Roughly 900,000 people have fled their homes since December, including half a million children. And analysts say the crisis is quickly getting worse. Some of the families came to this camp after fleeing Idlib, a province that is still in the throes of battle, where Syrian President Bashar al-Assad hopes to declare victory in Syria's civil war. But with a multitude of warring parties in Idlib, the fighting is growing closer to crowded civilian neighborhoods. Analysts predict a lot more destruction before any victor emerges. Most people here have been displaced several times and don't know what to do next. There are people who have it much worse than us. People are dying. I saw children dying near the border with Turkey. Hundreds of people have been killed in the battle for Idlib, including children who have frozen to death after fleeing their homes. It takes two days to get from Idlib to Man Beach, but aid organizations are bracing for crowds of newly displaced families here in the days and weeks to come. And they say getting people to return to their homes will require far more than just ending the war. People need work and basic services like water, electricity and jobs. If we get basic services, people will go back to their areas. International aid organizations have called for an immediate ceasefire in Idlib, as well as full access to civilians who are desperately in need. Reporting from Man Beach in Syria, I'm Heather Murdoch, VOA News.